Coach, I understand there's a group called the Friends of Football that has done a couple of projects. Uh, tell us some of the, the latest projects that they've done. Well, number one, you know, I'm glad that there's some, some alumni out there who really appreciate what uh, football is all about at Grambling State University. And uh, that group has done some tremendous things over the last year or so. Number one, you know, if you look at the practice field, the practice field is in pretty good shape because of Friends of Football. And the last thing they did is something that we really, really needed, and that was to change the flooring out in the dressing room and give the young guys something to do when they have a little downtown is to look at um, television. You know, so I, I think that's a big thing that uh, for them to do things like that. Uh, I take my hat off to them, and, and hopefully that they can continue to do what they've been doing. And and the people that are involved in it, you know, they're doing it out the kind of their hard, um, but they own the hard earned dollars. And I think that's the most important thing for for them to do that. And, and they all love Grambling, and they love Grambling football. You know, when you look at this floor, you know, G on the floor. Um, Unbelievable! I was just standing on the G, and they told me I couldn't walk on the G. And uh, I'm glad they didn't see me because I'm sure they would have got upset. But I got to take my hat off to all the members of um, Friends of the Football, and I think you'll recognize them when game time comes because you know, they have their own T-shirts and everything going to let them know that we support Grambling football, win, lose, or draw. And I think that's the most important part about it. Coach, you talked about the uh, Friends of Football. Now there's another group that's uh, doing some good things as well. Yeah, Grambling Legend, you know, I've, I've been a part of Grambling Legend since the inception, and uh, we've done some things not only for football, but also for for all the athletic programs. And the thing about this, the Grambling Grand Legend is taking on the task of changing the flooring uh, out of the weight room. Now, the good thing about that is the fact that that's not just football. Every sports here on campus uses the weight room. So, therefore, every sports on this campus is going to benefit by the change of a of the flooring in, in the weight room, and, and that's going to be thanks to the to Grambling Legend. I think what we have here, you got friends of football that are doing a lot of things for Grambling football, and the Grambling Legend doing a lot of things for the, the athletic department as a whole. And I think that's a good thing that they all kind of work together in, in, in unison to make sure that we try to do the best we could for the young athletes. Coach, this year marks the 30th anniversary of Robinson Stadium. Give us uh, some of your memories of Robinson Stadium. Well, number one, as a player, I don't have any because I'm a little older to, be, to have had that opportunity to play in it. But coming back and seeing the stadium and the practice field at the time, I thought it was truly amazing that, uh, you know, we didn't get a chance. I had a little envy in me, didn't get a chance to play in it. Uh, but as you look down there, you, you see it was indicative of, of Eddie Robinson, what he had accomplished, what he did for Grambling State University. But I think the biggest win that I saw down in that stadium was the day that Coach Robinson, and I was at that game when Coach Robinson won his 408th victory. I was on the field when he beat Mississippi Valley. And I think that that day has so much significance to Eddie Robinson. As we all know, the 408 means a lot because Coach Robinson is the winningest coach in college football history. And to have his name on the stadium, I think, makes it easy to understand the impact that Coach Robinson has had not on Grambling football and not on Grambling State University, but the world as a football coach. Coach, uh, we had a we had a legend of sorts that uh, that retired and uh, and Chuck Dawson. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Your, your feelings about Chuck? Well, number one, you know we've been fortunate with uh, people who was was just enamored with Grambling and loyal to Grambling and. Uh, Chuck Leslie Dawson was just the last one that is the epitome of what Grambling is all about. 33 years as the equipment manager here, is, here at Grambling, I think, speaks volume. Coach Rob hired him in 1979 to be the first full-time equipment manager. And we all got to take our hat off to Chuck. Um, we 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 losing a, a great guy in the equipment room. And, and a lot of the players are going to miss him. I know the coach is going to miss him. We all going to miss him. But I think at the end of the day, we were fortunate enough to um, hire a young guy who actually trained up under Chuck, got a lot of Chuck ways, and understand what Grambling is all about. He got love for Grambling. He went to school here. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with, with George when I first got here in 98, and we all knew that if Chuck had to leave, and if it was anybody, one person to replace Chuck Dawson, 
it wasn't nobody else but George Stubbs. And, and we were fortunate enough to hide George away from um, Jackson State right down the road, but I think he feels like he's at home. And, and the job that he's done in the month that he's been here is unbelievable. The, the things that he's done, and I think the coaches, the players, everybody is happy. Uh, at the same time, you know, we sad in a way that we don't have Chuck. But in, look at it realistically, we still got Chuck because we got George Stubbs, and we're glad to have him. Two thousand thirteen. It's a different season. Uh, have you thought about a theme? You know what? And and I, I have. You know, I've come up with a lot of them, but only one, only one theme that um, really matters, and I think is hit home uh, when you consider the things that we went through in two thousand twelve. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, still grandma. 